सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुमसाशम काशपेय महाज्योति तमोरी सर्वपापन प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्ति हस्तम तम मंगल प्रणमा हम प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेण प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणो बुधम प्रणमा हम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्रणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्वर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिकागर्भ संभूत तम राहुम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोर तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओ शि 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 ओ नाउ टाइप सिक्स राहु रिलेटेड महादाश अर्धस्वाद्रियाशतर <laughs> Uh, Jack a little pill, okay. Now, um, I did not uh, recognize her in this picture either, but whatever it was, the photo there, and we start again. Now, Alan Smith said it's kind of odd in this representation, and these we are going to discuss a lot. See, um, she took sixteen years left. of the rahu period and when she was in the second karmic period she was already from 16 to 32 and this we are going to discuss some subtleties of what does represent a second karmic period when you're 16 or when you were 3 and what represents a second karmic period when you are from 3 to 10 and when you are from 16 to 32 okay so even though we have general affirmations about the role of each karmic period this also relates to biological and social concerns so you can say ah she was in her second karmic period she was she was not supposed to be successful look there are different aspects or second considerations that come to play especially when you're going to start this rahu or jupiter or saturn starting karmic periods because these four ones rahu 18 jupiter 16 saturn 19 and mercury 17 are in a row uh, long periods and this creates a difference and this we're going to discuss on the course but starting with uh, rahu period her first period she was already still 
Uh, now is the time, but when it arrived, Jupiter period, the second period, she was already 91 starting her albums. And then up to 2006, it was her major career as a broad or uh, spectacular artist worldwide uh, going for Grammys and so on. And uh, Jagged Little Pill plays a role there. So there is another topic that is two, three sectors of the karmic period that are also another more not so basic concept that we're going to discuss on the course, but it's a lot of things for one hour and a half that we can explain. Just like this session, we are taking one topic and bring this from 10 minutes to one hour and a half. All the other topics we can also expand in that manner. You know, when you click in expand, <laughs> and a lot of information goes down. So it, we are not expanding all the information that it's needed here because we don't have the time. The course is the time for that. So from 91 up to 2000, from um, 90 to 2006, she was in her second karmic period. And in 2006, with flavors of entanglement, she entered in uh, her third karmic period up to 2025. And 2025 is up to present. Okay. Um, 2006, 2025. I don't know where this, why this Mercury. I will remove this here. Um, but she is still on her third karmic period. And look, now this is problem is going to start. With Nelson Mandela, it's going to be exception because he is already dead. But people that are born mainly in Rahu Nakshatra, they can achieve the fifth karmic period when they are on 70 years old. People that are born in Venus Mahadasha, they can achieve their fifth karmic period when they are 30, 23 years and one day. This is how many years? 47 years gap of problems in the sense that we are not going to have the same manifestation of karma that the person who is in his fifth karmic period on 23, 25, 30 years old, and the person that is in his, or in the case of Alanis Morissette, when is she going to reach her fifth karmic period? She is going to start her Ketu Mahadasha on 2042. 2042, it's going to mean that she's probably going to be around 66, okay? And in the case of these people that are born Ardha Nakshatra, Swati and Chattabisha, they are one of the most difficult cases to handle. I'm not saying that it's worse because when they are 50, 60, they are starting her its fifth karmic period and it's a, a big wave that is coming. And the person should not be retired just because she is 55 or 60 or 65, because it's starting the fifth karmic period. And this is very crazy. But in our general view, we can say that there are some crazy people, not crazy people, but there are some odd people, that's better in English. There are some odd people that become a kind of a new life when they start 60 or 70, they say, I need to become a writer. And people say, come on, grandma, go and rest. The person say, no, if I don't become a writer right now, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Probably, almost certainly, this person is reaching its faith karmic period when it's 60, 65 or whatever, okay? And uh, this topic is the biggest topic in the course. Understand if your husband or if your son, sometimes people, it happens things like this. You and your son are in the third karmic period together. Sometimes your son is in his fourth karmic period and you're still in your third. So you can understand how these strange situations can happen. And you can... 
गुरवे नम ओम 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 गुरवे 